take a look at this. Please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and share this video to all of your friends. Now, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so welcome to today's video, and today I will show you how to, how to add sounds to any of your attacks you have. So, in my previous videos regarding Devil Fruits, etc. I did not add any sounds or anything. And yeah, so the reason behind of that is because I usually have my sounds disabled in Roblox. And therefore, well, I do not pay high attention to sounds or anything. And so as you can see, my volume is yeah barely up. And yeah, so how can we add sounds to our attacks? So first of all, we need an attack. So let me let me receive this. Well, not I'm not I'm not gonna import Gura because I have added sounds to that as far as I can remember. But I'm gonna add my Zuna fruit right here, so my sand fruit. Okay, so the meshes do not load for any reason. Pretty weird, but okay, so let's let's just see. So let's just test this thing out, first of all. Okay. There we go. Alright, so these are our three attacks right here. So how do we add sounds to them? First of all, go inside of your toolbox and then look for your audio, look for your sound. So I'm just gonna grab a sound at this point because well I'm not I'm not gonna spend I'm not gonna spend any Robux in creating a new sound or anything, so just either take a sound or upload your own. The important thing is that you have a sound at the end. So let me just look for sads. I'm just gonna randomly look for something. And it is actually quite difficult to find a perfect sound, so I'm just going to pause the video at this point and come back when I've found a suitable sound for these attacks. I've got my three sounds right here, let's just quickly listen to them. So this is the first sound. Second one. And this is the third one. Even if they do not fit perfectly, this video is just for yeah educational purposes. So just to demonstrate demonstrate this to you guys. So I do not intend to find the perfect sound or anything. I just want to show you how to add it, guys. So after you have obtained your free sounds right here, just move them. Well, let's say in the replicated storage, just somewhere in which you can store everything. All right, so let's now go inside of our Zuna server script because this script holds <clears throat> all of the attacks, all of the code for the attacks. As you can see, this is the rele release tornado. Yeah, so um, I just had to go AFK. Yeah, so this is the rele release tornado right here. This is the second sand attack, and this is the sand ground attack, and we are just going to add our sounds to that. So how do we do that? Let's first of all find... Well, for this case, let's just find the code which creates the body velocity, because the body velocity at the end is the body mover, which yeah makes the tornado go forward, okay? And here we go. Here is the body velocity, so I have even commented this this whole thing. So check out the Suna video if you want to, uh, yeah, receive any further knowledge about 
this pseudo fruit right here I have I have created some while ago. So find this part right here, and then well before we create that body mover means before the tornado moves forward. Let's just create the sound at that point and let's just play the sound at that point because well making the sound play at a or making the sound play later well, does not make any sense because the attack is already done, you know? So, where is the point in playing a sound later when the attack is already gone? So, I hope that you can understand that a little. And therefore, we will just place it in front or before this body velocity is being created. So, how do we do that? First of all, let's clone... The sound, the sound we need, okay? In this case, the tornado sound. So we are going to clone that sound, place it inside of this tornado model, and then just play the sound. So that's my idea. So how do we do that? Let's declare a new variable called X, as long as it does not interrupt anything, and yeah. So X, and this one is going to refer to this tornado sound right here. Means game replicated storage so get service replicated storage and then either wait for child tornado or you can just simply do um, that tornado so that should work as well and then of course clone so we are applying so we are first of all referring to this tornado sound and then applying this cloned function onto it now, after we have cloned this thing, we want to put it inside of the tornado model. So, inside of this one. So, we can just simply say x parent equals tornado. Means, well, these components right here are called children. And therefore, this thing is the parent. And that's the idea behind it. So, we are basically setting the parent of this cloned thing to tornado means it is being put inside so it means it becomes a children of that parent so i hope that it is somehow clear to you guys so we have put that inside and now we can just play this whole thing and see if it works oh yeah so um <laughs> I'm totally dumb, so I have I have showed you the sounds a little bit earlier, but I have totally forgot to enable the sounds in my recording program, so you, you were not able to hear them. But let's just quickly listen to them. So, first sound. Second sound. Third sound. And yeah, so that's it. Now let's let me leave me alone. Okay. Perfect. So oh please not a valid member of Oh 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 look so we have two instances called tornado, so let's just call this one tornado sound. Come on. There we go. So that's the way to play sounds. Now I'm just going to apply this method on all of the other attacks as well. So it is always the same. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I have forgot one more thing. So we are basically cloning everything or cloning the sound and putting it inside of the tornado, but it is not being cleaned up. Or wait, 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 wait. Well, it actually is being cleared up because we are deleting the tornado at the end and the sound is a component of the tornado means it is being deleted as well. But let's see if that applies for the other cases right here. So our second sound attack. Well, well, I, I, just, I just thought about adding that clear code, but... We do not need to clear it up because it is being automatically cleared up as long as we put it inside of our attacks. It means our tornado, our... where is it? 
second sand attacks you know, right here and inside of our sand ground. So let's just leave that. Let's let's copy this whole thing. Let's scroll down to sand attack two. Now, as you can see, it says sand attack. Let's put this one inside of here. And this one is a different case because this sand attack is not moving forward or anything, so it does not have any body movers. It's just, yeah. Or we are just playing around with the C framing by using this tweening right here. And you can just put it in front or before this tween thing because this tween thing is the coat or the part at the end which makes the, th the sand attack move. And body movers just do the same, so they also make the sand attack move. And that's the idea behind it. So making the sound play before the attack is moving. So that's that was the idea I had. All right. So as you can see, we have axe right here and right here. So just to prevent any problems with that, just, let's just call the sound axe 2. And also um, overwrite this with set, uh, attack 2. So with your attack, which you have reserved for your, which, oh, no, replace it with the name of the sound, which you have reserved for your attack. <laughs> so there we go. So attack 2 is this attack right here. So we are cloning this thing, and instead of putting it inside of the tornado, we are going to put it inside of axe, because axe is the attack. Okay. Now the last one. The sand ground once again put this before the tweeting is being done and yeah as you can see x and well x2 there shouldn't be any problems and replace this one with ground and yeah that's actually it so now we should have some sounds playing for our attacks right here so let's just quickly check this out guys so you already know about this one. Perfect. There we go, guys. So that's the way I'm creating your sounds. And if you have enjoyed this video, guys, if you have considered this video as pretty helpful, then leave a like, subscribe, share this video to all of your friends, turn on the notification bell, guys, and give me feedback in the comment section, guys. Also, thank you for your overwhelming support recently, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And, yeah, take care. See you in the next video, which is going to be a One Piece video, by the way. So, see you.